Kyrie Irving is one of the most skilled athletic guards in the NBA. In this video, I wanna break down how he utilizes the triple threat to create easy, efficient score opportunities for himself and his teammates. After this video is over with, you'll learn how to apply these skill sets within your game. Now let's begin. In this clip, he's attacking a hard closeout. He understands since it's a big that's closing out on him, this big is not gonna have athletic quickness laterally as if a guard was closing out on him. So with that understood, I want you to pay attention to how he uses his low sweep move to create space. Here it is, right there. So he creates space, defender backs up. Once he creates space, now he's gonna get into this drop. Pound, now he's into a drop. Now at this point, defender's starting to anticipate that he's going to his right. But he knows this big can't stay in front of him. Right, so now he's gonna get into this cross. Now as he crosses here, bang, now the defender opens up his hips. Now he's gonna get into a step back. This step back creates separation. And then right there you have it, an easy shot. Uncontested three. All because of he used his sweep, low sweep. Then he got into his pound. And then he got into a drop. And then he crossed over to create separation. I tell players all the time, Footwork is king. If you can match your feet with your dribble, it's gonna be hard for many defenders to guard you. So in this clip right here, I want you to watch how Kyrie uses the reverse pivot to create an advantage. So now he has his back to the defender. All right, body between ball and man. Now he's gonna use the reverse pivot to create space. Reverse pivot. Defender's active. Now this is a high level defender right here. So he has to be subtle with his feet and he has to make sure he's not going one speed. A lot of players make the mistake of going too fast. Slow to fast, fast to slow. Keep defenders off balance. So now he's in his reverse pivot. Now what I like that he does here, he keeps his body between ball and man. Now as he's dribble, as he takes this dribble here, he has an advantage. So he's going to dribble, step, and then I want you to watch how he creates separation. Now, the game of basketball is physical. You cannot, as an offensive player, you cannot be afraid of creating contact. He creates contact, this creates space. Once he creates the space, now he gets into a hard pound. Let's rewind it back. He gets into a, a dribble, jab, boom, creates separation. Now he gets into... An easy shot, contested, but easy. So you have to embrace contact, right? Use your footwork as he does in this clip, reverse pivot to create space. Use your dribble and your feet to create space. So as you saw in the first two clips, you notice how he used his dribble to create space. Now I want you to watch how he's gonna use a simple jab step. This is underrated. A lot of kids don't know how to effectively, effectively use the jab to create space. So now, defender's up in him, closing space. He's going to create space with a simple jab, one, and he's up. Simple. Jab, defender backs up a little bit, he's on his heels. Once you get defender on his heels, game over. Easy shot. So we have the jab that he used to create space. He used the drop cross to create space. He used his footwork reverse pivot to create space. Now I want you to understand, right? When you're in a triple threat, you have an open step and you have a cross step. This is footwork. So I want you to watch how he uses the cross step. All right, low rip. Create space, cross step. Right foot goes across his frame. Now he's gonna use his inside hand to get the defender's hands off of him. Again, you gotta embrace contact. Boom, defender's on his heels. He has the advantage, easy to the rim. Again, simple footwork, simple. He catches it, 
rip through, defender still wanting, cross step, active hand, easy layup. Now remember what I said, footwork is king. Now in this clip, you're gonna see how he uses what we call, or what I call it, the dig step. Close out by a guard, gets into him, guard gets into his space. Now watch how he uses the dig step. This right foot, so he's dribbled, he put the ball down, right foot has not hit the ground yet. Now he's into that dig, there we go. That's the dig step. Ball hits the ground, dig step, gets the advantage. Now he's to the rim. All you're trying to do, right? Listen, there's gonna be times you'll have blow buys, but most of the time, it's gonna be like this. Crowded space, help side defender. You're not gonna have a lot of space, and you're gonna have to be efficient with your feet. This dig step gives him an advantage. And that's how he's able to get to the rim. Keep the defender at bay, keep the defender on your hip, control him. Right, you don't gotta always get create a large amount of space. Just get the advantage, and once you get the advantage, it's game over. You can do whatever you want. Now, this is probably one of my favorite clips when it comes to triple threat. I want you to watch how many jab steps he gives this defender. That's one, two. You see how he's shifting the defender's feet? All right, and then boom, right here. He's in an open step. Now he's gonna put the dribble down. He exposes the ball. He's gonna put the dribble down. And then right here, this is subtle. Dribbles down, and now he's into a drop. Now he knows he has to attack this defender's back foot in that left hip, all right? So he's going to engage the defender. He's into the drop position. You see that offhand, active, defender immediately puts his hands on him. That's what most defenders do. It's a contact sport. You have to embrace it. He's going to use his inside hand to get the defender off of him. Once that defender gets off of him, boom, he has the advantage now. All you got to do is get the defender on your hip. Once you do that, defender's at your mercy. Embrace the contact. You see how this offhand stays active? The defender can only do so much. They can only move their feet so much, right? They Because it's a guessing game. You have to understand when you're on offense, you have to have a mind of a chess player, right? Right now, this defender is playing chess as well, all right? You're the king. You got to own the space, control it. He's using his inside hand to get the defender off of him, contact sport. Then he gets into that jump shot off the glass. Watch it again full speed. We'll watch it full speed. Jab. Yep. Drop. Play off of two feet. Now, I know most would be like, man, what about the dribble moves? Man, it's the time and place for that. I would say 80% of the time, you're going to catch the ball in a triple threat position. It's going to probably be 10% of the time that you're using your dribble off the dribble, right? Everything you initiate off the dribble. Now, 80% to 90% of the time, you're gonna be in a triple threat position. So you have to learn how to catch and shoot. You have to learn how to create space with your footwork from the triple threat. You have to learn how to position the ball, maneuver the ball, low sweeps, high, high sweeps. You have to learn how to use your dig step, your open step, and your cross step. So I hope you learned some valuable information from this video, do me a favor, click that like button, click that subscribe button, comment below, let me know what you thought about this video.